Uh, I'm Jeff Cook from the University of Reading and I was responsible with others for Project Rainbow and I'd like to uh, give you some information about that. Project Rainbow was about identifying how visually impaired people interacted with the built environment and in particular we were after some facts around that so we selected visually impaired people and placed them into an experimental environment and got them to distinguish some colours for us. When we came to analyse the data that they'd produced, we were looking for differences in their ability to detect different colours, blue, green, red, for instance. And we found that the data was rather random and there was little correlation. So we revisited the data, examining the lightness and darkness of colours. And gradually, a pattern appeared and correlations were identified. In particular, we were interested in the differences of lightness and darkness in colour and how many visually impaired people could actually identify them. Now, lightness and darkness is a coordinate of all colour measurement systems and uh, therefore is very well known. And what we were able to do was to examine what particular colour, lightness, darkness, how many visually impaired people could actually identify that difference. And this uh, allowed us to make some sort of selection. Now clearly the bigger those differences the more people could identify them. The smaller those differences less people could. So we arbitrarily chose a figure of 80% of our test population. That means only 20% of the people couldn't actually detect this difference. And when we looked at the differences in lightness and darkness for those 80%, we found that around 30 points on the lightness-darkness scale was sufficient. This research wasn't solely about visually impaired people. It was about people who normally use buildings and have full vision. So the results are equally applicable to the general population rather than just the two million people who it's reckoned to have some sort of visual impairment. So in this small way it can make a contribution to the use of the building for the whole population.